A wise man once said, do not eat a half bag of family sized Takis before a hard workout. Our good friend Bark has decided to gift us a few potential opportunities here. So it is 5.15 p.m. and I am headed up to the gym. This has been kind of a weird one to get going. Unlike the med spa, which kind of worked out nice and smooth. You know, my wife just kind of came up with a bunch of content ideas and then we kind of knocked those out in one go. The gym, I keep having to come back for to get things. Part of it's my fault. I did, um, I messed up the time on Monday when I was supposed to be out there. Because they have so many different classes and things that they're trying to get, you know, content out for, I keep having to come up there at like, 11 a.m. then you know 1 30 p.m. and then like 6 p.m. and so this should be the last time I have to come up here this month if I'm not mistaken but basically what I told them uh, is that as long as I need to get content for this first couple months I have no problem coming out there a little more and basically what it does is it creates a content bank for us so once we have content around um, all of these classes and things because they have like the rookie class the adult class the intermediate class stuff like that then whenever we come up with things and they're just kind of talking about it or something i'll have footage to go off of i'd be curious to see how a lot of you approach this you know when you're first starting out with a client a retainer client especially i'm definitely spending a lot of time up there and they are only paying a thousand bucks a month so yeah just trying to figure out um the best way to navigate all this Go film for about an hour. Hopefully, go back home and eat because I am hungry. I'm not gonna film this portion because uh, I'm filming kids. That is where I'm headed right now to go get this stuff done. I just finished up that shoot. You may be thinking, Jared, why are you out of breath? And uh, that's because they offered me a free workout. They said, yo, as long as you're you know, shooting with us here, you can work out here anytime you want to. Take a class whenever you want. In fact, stay tonight, you're already here. I said, you know what? 29 is but a number. I can hang with I can hang with the best of them, okay? And basically what I learned, a wise man once said, do not eat a half bag of family-sized Takis before a hard workout. I have chest burn like a 60-year-old man after eating a nice hot pizza. Yeah, I think I am on the verge of the pearly gates. Ever since I switched to my new pricing, it's kind of gotten a lot slower. And partly that's on me. I haven't been doing a ton of reach out. I've actually had a decent amount of people reaching out to me. I think it's made me a little complacent. I've got a, like two or three jobs right now, well-paying jobs that are just kind of floating around that I'm waiting to hear back on. As of right now, the next two weeks of November and most of December is pretty much looking dry. A lot of my shoots seem to come up last minute. And in December, we do have a couple vacations. We're going to Disney World, we're going to Nashville. Plus, you know, it's like Christmas time. So, but I wanted to try to fill in the calendar these next couple weeks as best I can. So I'm going to be working on that as well as trying to get the edits done for a client that I'm working on. One of the hardest things about this vlog here lately is just because it takes up a lot of time to, you know, prep the shots and talk to the camera and then edit the vlogs. It's been putting me behind on some of the editing jobs that I have, which is kind of stockpiling into me taking longer to edit these vlogs. So I do apologize for the delay on these. I know that they uh, haven't been as coming as frequently. Um, I really would love to continue doing weekly, but at the same time, there's not a ton going on, so I don't really know what to show. But what I can show right now is June sent me out their brand new uh, G300, Mollus G300. And this thing is, I mean, just tiny. Here's an iPhone just kind of for some comparison idea. But this is a 300 watt light that has what they call max mode and it pushes it up to 500 watts. And this right here is your power box. So it just plugs in this way. I think I said in my last video that I think that June is at the top of the game right now when it comes to being innovative with their lighting. Obviously Aperture does cool stuff and they continue to do cool stuff. Um, but June is constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Now, even though they sent this out to me for free, I want to make it very clear that I still have my worries with something like this. It is plastic. It's a plastic build, which is, it's okay. Like obviously they're trying to keep the cost down, which is fine. So this thing retails for $5.99 US, but um, the plasticky build, again, is not 
what I prefer because you're getting way more power output than the 300C that I have, but almost as much output as the 600X uh, if you're looking at it in terms of wattage. This is a bi-color light, which is sick. I will say before I show this, one gripe that I have, and they did this with the other light that they sent me, they don't come with any kind of case included. So they come in the box just like this, and then you open the box and it's in there. So, I mean, technically you could use this box as the case. Uh, I don't love that. I think like it needs to come in something to, you know, be able to travel with this easily. Like I say, this is all it is. Flip this thing on, and that is at max right there. So this is max. If you hold down both the buttons and turn max off, you can see how it dims it up a little bit. Like I say, by color, so I believe it goes up to 65 and down to 27. Yeah, so 27 to 65 is your Kelvin range. And then again, uh, if I turn on the max, and then here's the difference with the max. So I think this is a very bright light. It's your Bowens mount, which is incredible. Um, let's just keep sticking to Bowens mount, everybody. You could feel the heat. This thing gets so hot. So like I say, it fits the Bowens mounts. So for me, what was kind of exciting is having this bright light for when I do corporate shoots up in big windows, like I was doing last week, and I had very little space to work with, but I had that big window, and the small rig light that I was sent wasn't bright enough. Something like this would definitely help. Now again, I'm going based off a of theory. I obviously haven't tested it out in the field or anything, so I don't know how this thing holds up. So if you have any interest in this light at all, um, there's a link in the description, obviously an affiliate link. I think, like I say, this thing retails for uh, 599. They could have some Black Friday sales coming up, but for the size of this light, um, just off first impressions, I think it is worth that. And if I was to build a kit and I needed powerful lights, I think this definitely helps solve an issue. I do think they even have a G500, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you, June. I appreciate it. This light is seriously so sick. I can't wait to uh, test it out in the field. So I was kind of scouring Production Hub and there's been a few postings on there. Some are a little bit under budget. Uh, a lot of it's like production assistant stuff. There is one looking for a production company and I got the contact information and no phone number was added on there, but they basically had their email address uh, as their website. So I went to the website and went to the contact page. They have a phone number on there. So I'm gonna to try to call that now because I would much rather do that than try to send out a proposal for something that's a few days old. Hey, this is, sorry, I missed your call. Hey, I just wanted to give you a call. I saw your listing on Production Hub saying that you need a some cam ops, a gaffer, grip, sound person, makeup, all that. Definitely would love to help you with that. I can pretty much supply everything you need there. We are available on November 18th. Um, we do have identical cameras. We have multiple identical cameras, mostly in the Sony department with the same lenses, same setups everywhere. Um, we also have a gaffing kit that we can provide for anything like that. I assume this is gonna be interviews and stuff, um, but no matter what it is, we can definitely get you hooked up with that and get that figured out for you. So love to talk to you. I don't think I said my name, whoops. I think one of the hardest parts about having to like do everything yourself is like you're managing not only the jobs you do get, but you're trying to manage getting to the other jobs. So it's like checking Production Hub, uh, applying to things on Bark that you see. Threads has actually been uh, popping off lately with people looking for jobs. I haven't landed the job on there yet. Um, then there's Facebook. Facebook has millions of groups. I'm having to check Twitter, make sure people, you know, to see if people are posting on there and getting to those fast enough. And LinkedIn, I haven't even begun to get on LinkedIn, but I hear constantly how much I need to be on LinkedIn. On top of that, it's trying to go out and shoot, find clients, cold call, cold approach, edit vlogs, edit videos for people. It's just like, there's so much to do. I don't know, I'm looking into something to where I can just get some help um, to just try to navigate all the opportunity that's just out there that I can't get to right now. And I gotta mow my lawn, I ain't got time for that. Did my first live stream last night and had a ton of fun. I did not expect to have that kind of a show out. I think we had like 200 people come through at um, throughout the two hours that I was on. And I had like a consistent 20 to 25 people sitting there talking and chatting with me, watching the stream. So appreciate everybody that came out. Hopefully it's enjoyable. I wanna do the more. It's really simple and easy for me to set up. So I think it's a fun and great way to connect with 
everybody here. And hopefully down the road, we could do some more cool stuff. Um, I definitely want to do things where people could send me their work and I can review it, talk about it, things like that. Our good friend Bark has decided to gift us a few um, potential opportunities here. He says, I'm trying to make a commercial video for my custom shop to show our shop and our showroom. And the second one, a little hesitant on, I have a script for a TV show that I wrote and I plan to start recording in March. I have six episodes to be filmed. I need a camera crew and help making this show become reality. We are going to call this first one for the custom shop because that actually sounds, you know, pretty interesting. Your call has been forwarded to voice. Typical bark. Oh, oh, bark. You're so silly. This one I feel like is going to be a waste of my time and credits. I just don't see how this is going to happen, but whatever. I'm sorry. Hello? Hey, is this Abraham? Yes, how are you? Good, how are you? My name is Jared. I saw your listing on Bark um, saying that you needed a video for your showroom. Yes. Um, I was. Not just the showroom, it was like the full shop. Oh, the whole shot. What were you looking to accomplish with that video? Is it just kind of like something to show off the room or to get more customers or what? Definitely get more customers. We just expanded. We added more services to our shop. Uh, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, make a video for Facebook and Instagram. And did you kind of have a price point in mind of like what you were wanting to spend on something like this? Like, I need a short video, or like, something less than 30 seconds, so I was thinking probably, like, an in a thousand range. Like around a thousand. Okay. Yeah. And you would want that same video posted for both Instagram and Facebook, correct? Yes. Sounds good. Okay, Hopefully I'll call you. you back, then and we'll go from there. Thank okay. you. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, bro. No, a thousand dollars is not great, because that is not my day rate, for one. My day rate starts at 1100 plus I'd have to edit a 30-second video. So why would I take that? The reason is... It sounds like they are growing and it sounds like they are going to be in need of more content. So they want to make this video, which I know I can knock out of the park and then run an ad behind it to try to get more clients. If that works, he gets more clients or even if I could sell him on my wife running the ads for him. Um, once he gets a taste of the content bringing in money, it's kind of a no brainer. And for me, I'd rather take the cut right now to try to land him as reoccurring every month okay tell me what you just did uh just made some cold calls uh per your request one person said that their social media manager was out of town and then the other one actually the receptionist was their social media manager so oh. just landed me a, a booking next week to go shoot him get shoot him a free demo what did you what did you say to him like what, what was kind of your pitch uh so i definitely want to not keep them on the phone as long as possible mm -hmm. so i instantly came in just told them my name told them what i do and cut kind of straight to the chase uh asked for their either the gm or the social media manager and uh luckily that second lady was so i went straight into telling her that i'm doing some free demos for businesses around the area and that i would love to make some uh make a free demo for their instagram how did you feel like going into that first call and how do you feel now from the first to the second one it was it was a breeze like it i the jitters are gone i'm actually ready to make a third one to be honest with you exactly just getting started is like the most important part after that dude it's just like especially when you get that yes then it's like oh dude wait it's this is all i needed to be doing this whole time sweet well tell the people what they need to be doing and how easy it is and to stop being lazy. Uh, the number one reason I haven't started is because I was scared, bro. There's nothing to be scared about. And the only way it's ever going to work out is if you just nut up and do it. Just shut up, sit down, make your calls, go meet some people that you need to, just do it. I told you, bro, but that's all it takes. Because then you sit there and you tell yourself it was that easy this whole time. Like I spent the last three weeks telling myself, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then... You sit there and kick yourself. You're like, for the last three weeks, I could have been making moves? That's literally, that's the first thing when she hung up. I was like, dude, I could have did this like a week and a half ago. Yes. Well, he recorded his cold calls, his first ever, first time doing it. He wants feedback. He wants tips. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description. Uh, go check it out. Go check out his first cold calls. Rip them apart. Tell him what he could do better. And also congratulate him because he did the dang thing.